What is up guys, Awesome Richo here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Extinction map. So we're here, and so this, so I'm going to show off my base real quick. So this is the base I started working on in the last episode. So we got the stone base, and I did modify a little bit just to kind of get rid of some of the, you know, perf boxy shape of it, just to add some little slopes and stuff. And so here is the inside. So over here, I've got my dung beetle wall. And it's actually processing oil and fertilizer and all that sort of stuff. Which, you know, in the, in the past, I've not had... Uh, it's not done that for some reason. I, uh, but now it's working, so I like that. We've got our forges here cooking up metal. Of course, we got that bunch of that scrap metal from those things. And uh, organization that I got a bed and some storage stuff up there and some stuff up there as well. Um, so today, I'm going to be uh, crafting up some trank darts and stuff so we can go tame some stuff so let's throw all this gunpowder in here and we will go into our weapons ammo and we gotta of course craft a bunch of bullets which i thought how much does it take oh 12 gun oh goodness so apparently i need to get stuff going over here do I even have? No, I don't even have flint. I need to get flint. Of course, there's ankies everywhere, so there shouldn't be too hard. Um, so we're going to be very limited on what we can... Oh, it does multiple. Okay. At least that's much better. Um, so let's go in here, and then we'll craft up 50 trank darts, and we'll see how many it gives us all together. I'm hoping it's like a perfect... Yeah, it looks like it'll be a perfect 100. And then, of course, I'm making... So, hopefully, this works out just fine. Um, so, I do have the fur on me, because today we're going to be taming a snowy owl, so, or snow owl, I guess. So, I got the snow owl saddle, and then I've got my fur ready to go, since it is in the snow area. So, let's go ahead and just put our uh, stuff down here. Um... Oh yeah, I don't have it on me yet. Just do another point in health. And then, what else do uh, while we're sitting here waiting for stuff to craft up. I can go ahead, I got a fabricator made, so I can go ahead and place that down. I think I'll place it right over here. Which looks like it's going to be a tight fit, but... Oh, if I can get up on these tables. There we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely a tight fit. It's going to be sticking out of the wall. Oh, goodness. can't even tell if it's sticking out the back side uh, maybe not let's see how far it sticks out on this oh we can't even see it on this side which is good um, as you see I did do a taxidermy thing I found just a megatherium I just thought they looked cool and so I went ahead and stuffed it and put it on there just to add decoration to the new thing so there we've got our fabricator which of course I think we yeah just need gas which we have plenty of oil and stuff um, sounds like the stuff is done, so let's go ahead and grab, put ammo on that one, tranks on there, move them up top. Let's go ahead and craft up some of these arrows as well, so I'll carry them as, you know, backup. And then we'll just store the other crossbow away there we go and like I said we'll just keep this crossbow just for some extra protection and we do have narcotics there we don't of course need any of this meat and everything but we've got it on us just in case okay let's be done Three, two, one. Oh wait, there's an extra. There we go. So I don't need that. And we should be good to go. Now I was going to tame a gotcha today, but apparently they've changed them where you can't pick them up with stuff. So I was like, you know, that's why I wanted an RG. And then I will be using the top jars because they fly really fast. Um, but oh, I forgot to show. So here's the, obviously an entrance. We've got, um, you know, railings put up to protect from dinos. Then we can come over here. We've got a ladder to the top. And then back here, of course, is our city terminal thing that we can use. 
and then got the top jars and trike and everything back here with another door ready to fight and everything and I tamed up a Dodigris, a beaver, castroid and a megaloceros of course all the stuff I use for building tamed all those up as well so we should be good now hopefully I am ready and prepared for everything so this is I believe the high yeah high level one but yeah I was gonna tame a gotcha but it, like I said apparently you can't pick them up anymore and so that means I can't get them without uh, using the like cryopods or whatever and I don't have those because I don't have any of the tech stuff and I at least I assume it's a tech related thing that you would need that for but we're gonna take a little journey over to the snow which I've not been I've been to I have been to the desert because of the dodicris to be able to even find one I had to go to the desert biome little area and it was uh, pretty fun and cool like nothing too dangerous and stuff um, wasn't too bad I'm gonna just fly over here to the edge so I guess I will see you when we get into the snow biome and I can find a snow owl. I keep on calling it snowy owl. I probably will call it that forever. Um, but a snow owl. Um, but once I find one, I will tame it up and everything. Or, and then we'll trank it and tame it up and everything. So I will see you once I find a pretty decent one. Hopefully, um, I've been messed with the sendings because I've everything's just been such low level. But hopefully we can now find a higher level one. So I will see you then. So I found a pretty good owl. Oh, there's a 120 right there. Of course, I got to try and hope it doesn't get killed or anything by all the dangerous stuff that's around here. So I'm going to fly over and land right here. This seems like a pretty safe area for the most part. Um, so hopefully we can actually get a hit on it. <clears throat> it's hard to actually see it. I may have to get closer to it. I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can shoot stuff. Let's fly over here. And try and shoot it. I'm going to waste like all my darts trying to shoot it. So I hit something, I don't know if I hit the bird or what I hit. Let's go over here and try and like help it out with these sabers. Oh shoot, I was like, I don't want to kill the top or the bird, Snowy Owl. Okay, so let's come over here now where hopefully it'll be a little safer. It may knock me off oh snap I'm kind of afraid since I did hit it with the top ajar it needs to attack me not the this makes a really cool sound though I hope I don't kill it because of, like I said, hitting it with the top of jar, I think, on accident. Just shoot it right in the butt. Hopefully don't attract any wildlife over here. Come on, go down. I keep trying to shoot it in the head, but it's... I always shoot at the wrong moment. Come on, just take a little nap. And hopefully it won't fly away because there's so much dangerous stuff around here. It's crazy. I did have to fly around quite a while. I was going to go in for a level 90 that I saw, but I was you know trying to see if I could find any higher level ones. Oh, there it goes. So let's chase after it. And wait till it starts coming back towards us.
wish I it would stop. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know. It stinks you can't shoot from the back of these. I thought you could shoot from the back of top jars. And now it's like right where you can't. There we go. Follow me. Oh, it's going up so high. Come on, we gotta follow it. Ugh, this is what I hate about dinos and their stupid running away. That's the thing, I don't know where it went. I lost it. Like, did it go down? It's hard to tell. There's a bunch of wolves after me. Oh, this is so angry. Oh, there it is. At least I assume this is it again. Yep, 120 owl. Wait, they run away? I thought they were like RG so they would attack you and stuff. I was hoping it would attack me. And of course I lost it again. I was hoping to get a shot off on it from here. Okay, where'd you go? Come on. You've got to be around here somewhere. And then of course I have don't have very good graphics so I can't see stuff from a distance. I have to get close for it to load in. Oh my god, this is so disappointing. That's saying like where did it even go? I don't think it landed anywhere. Like it went, got knocked out or anything. Of course it would be almost impossible to see if it did. check over this way now uh, I may have to come back and try a different of course now I'm down 24 darts oh uh, this is so disappointing I think that's an RG yep an RG okay so I'll be back if I can find anything or if I can get uh, find it again or if I can get another one but knocked out this time um, so I'll be back once something happens oh my god guys I got it knocked out I finally found it and was just, had to chase it all over the area trying to um, figure out how to get it to get knocked out because it just kept flying every time I would hit it um, so let's go ahead and we'll kill this thing and take its meat hopefully that'll give us Ooh, I could maybe kill a mammoth and it is kind of protected up here. It's like not too bad of an area Yeah, I didn't get any prime meat off that so Let's go ahead and put this meat in the inventory there. Oh And it's taming pretty fast. It may be done. I'm gonna go kill a mammoth Yeah, I'll kill like this mammoth 
Oh, I can't believe I actually got it. I, I was almost at a bullets too. Yeah, I did get prime meat. Yeah, I have one trank dart left. Of course, I did bring those arrows, which I know um, arrows are not good to use on these things because it could kill it, especially since how damaged it was. But still, I would can't believe it came down to one. Oh yeah, it's pretty much done already. Let's put our gun away so we don't accidentally shoot it. Oh, I can't believe I got it. The 120 male snowy owl. Oh my god, that lay thing led me in such a like a goose chase all over this snow area. I'd have to just fly around and then it would stop like running. So I'd have to. There we go. Um, of course, we gotta call it head wig from of course from Harry Potter that is awesome I can't believe I was able to get it. I'm so excited like I assumed it was a gun and I was like I'm running out of trank darts or yeah trank darts I'm like I'm you know I'm done with for this um, let's take it off put it on passive oh I can't believe it um feels weird kind of flying around on it let's see if we can kill some stuff we'll kill like this these things down here get some level on it there we go Ooh, it landed it's weird how it landed um, let's go ahead and get melee damage up a little bit um, weight we'll worry about in a little bit get some health on it as well Kill some of these pigs. Don't kill my owl. There, I did kill one of them. Let's pump more health into it. No, come on, die. There we go. Awesome. Now, of course, it's got all sorts of fancy moves. I don't know how to do them, though. I'll have to learn what they are. There's there's It's landed. I'm pressing C. It's not doing anything. Er, oh, that looks cool. I know it does, like, suppose, like a dive bomb. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. And it does some freeze attack, but I don't know what the freeze attack is. I'll have to try it out. Let's go ahead and get this back to our base. I gotta figure out which way I'm going, though. So I need to go pretty much towards that mountain there. Okay, because I'm like, I don't know exactly where I'm going. We can't pump. Yeah, we can't pump. Uh... Get it health up, do a little bit more melee damage. Can't do movement speed at all. But it looks pretty cool. I really love the look of it and the sounds it makes and everything. It's controlling's a little weird. It's like look the body spins with the wings don't. It's pretty crazy. Um, but I'm gonna get back to base and then we'll kinda play around with it uh, at our base and see what it like test it out and everything. So that is awesome. 120. Of course not the highest level possible, but for us a 120 uh snow wow is pretty cool and i love the look of the face and everything so i'm gonna go back to base and i'll see you then okay so i have the owl back at or back in the city and so we're gonna kind of test it out i did look up to see how to do some of the stuff so you can do a little flyover if you press and hold the left button you do that and it'll freeze dinos it also heals them which i think is kind of weird um that it heals them as well but it also heals up your owl so you can do that so you just hold in um, the right click button and it does that so I think um, it heals your snow owl up as well and then of course you can do a dive bomb which apparently I did not hit which I can never get this to happen on the griffin it always would just do that hit the ground and just go running off but I was able to get it done just a few seconds ago you just have to aim directly down which I doubt I'll be able to even hit any of these things anymore because they're all let's try this megatherium or whatever those things I forget what those things are even called um not a megatherium though paraceratherium 
I'll get it eventually. Okay, so let's fly up. And then let's aim for it. And fly straight down. Bam! Oh, it didn't really seem to do much. I don't know if I'm doing that wrong or what. Kind of disappointed though. I, w I was able to do it just a few seconds ago, which is kind of why I'm disappointed. Let's fly up again. Because I don't think you have to hit any buttons. You just aim straight down. Because I did like that and it damaged stuff. So I don't know. Let's fly over again. Freeze y'all up. And then we can sit here. Ooh, it doesn't last very long on that thing. Okay, now my owl's like stuck. Come back here, Hedwig. There we go. So the curls are a little bit weird and different. I don't know how I feel about them. Because he does tend to land a lot. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if that's just how the mechanics are. Going to take out both of these defense units. There we go. And so our health is, I want to say down, but it's barely down at all. Um, so yeah, that's the snowy owl. Now I would like, because of, as um, I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, I need an Anki. I wonder if we can pick up an Anki. I know I have an RG that I can pick one up with, but I want to get an Ankylosaurus. There was a really high level dino. I feel it was around in here somewhere. I saw earlier and I was like, I gotta remember to get that so I can tame it up, but I don't remember. Let's go up and f grab the RG so that way if I do find an Anki, I can grab it and take it back. There were a bunch of spiders up here that I was trying to kill and I couldn't find them. So just try and see where they went to. So let's just land down in here in our base. And then hopefully the owl should be dropping some pellets that we can start collecting. Let's go ahead and put some levels on it. Get above 2,000 there. 5,000. Then we'll just pump a bunch of health into it. Drop a poopy. I want to look at an owl pellet. Let's see if we can do this. I thought it was... I don't know, maybe you can't do the poop, do I? I can't, like there's the force poop button and I can't figure it out. But anyways. Things always make a noise, I always think it's some other creature. But now I'm gonna go find an Enki, pretty decent, a uh, decent level Enki that I can find. I'll grab it, pick it up and take it back up to that level where my base is and stuff. And we'll get it tranked out with the trink arrows. So hopefully I have enough to knock it out. Um, but I'll be back once I find one. Okay, so I found a Anki, the best one that I could find. It's a level 40, so obviously not that good, but I'll just kind of drop it over here and we'll tame it. But first, I have something else I found that I want to tame up, and I dropped it over here at my base. It is the Tech uh, Parasaur, which I've never had one yet, but it was a level 114, so I was like, I've got to try this out. So um, we'll use our Trank Darts for it and everything, so let's go ahead and try and shoot it. And I put it in here since this these things run away. Um, I did it so that way it's trapped. So I'll just shoot it in the butt. I don't like the colors of that. I found a lot of cool colored ones. But this one, but they were all super low level where this one's high level. But I don't even know what color it is. It's just like a black or something. Oh snap. Got you in the tail. Hopefully this doesn't take too many. There it goes. Let's go ahead and throw some of these bears. We'll split the stack in half. Put half on the tech stego there. And now let's go find our Anki, which is right there. So let's just shoot it in the butt. And hopefully we can outrun it. 
Should be pretty easy though. It's a low level, you know, level 40. So it shouldn't be too bad to get knocked out. I wish I could find it. Like usually I find Ankies everywhere and I had to fly like all over this city just to try and find Ankies and I couldn't, this was the highest level one I could find. Go to sleep, little Lanky. There, it's starting to run now. Something keeps making noise. Sounds like spiders. And it's asleep now, too. There we go. And we'll stick the rest of those berries in there. Hmm. I'm very curious, because like I said, I keep hearing spiders. At least what I assume are spiders that I'm hearing. But I don't see them anywhere. Let's check around over on this side. Because spiders do randomly. Yep, there it is right there. Oh no. Hit the wrong button. Gotcha. I may go to sleep, oh no. Okay, let's get... Oh, there's the Parasaur up. Let's get saddles made for him now. Oh, goodness. Saddles made for him. I guess I should probably check in here. So we need Para and Anki and Kylo. So yeah, that one gets crafted in the smithy. I'm surprised I haven't fell asleep yet. Um, we need fiber. Let's get some fibre. Wrong box. Thatch. Fiber. Let's go ahead and grab two of those. There we go. Saddles. Then we'll do an anklo. And I assume the parasaur's in my inventory. Yes, craft one. There's the Anki saddle, and I should have a Parasaur in mine. Let's go ahead and why you there will put the Parasaur on it. Add some more weight. And we'll take a little ride out on it just, just to test it out right over to our Anki and everything. Cool if they had guns on them since they're tech, if they had like guns or some sort of extra protection, just something that made them different. No more spiders. The spiders just come up all the time. Come on, Enki, get tamed up. You shouldn't be taking too long. You're about 50%. Let's go ahead and take these berries off you. Give me back my berries. Let's go, we can harvest a plant. There we go. Harvest some berries with the Parasaur. Come on, Nanky. Wake up. Oh, oh. Like I said, I wish... I don't know if it's, like, white. Or if it's, like, black. Or I don't know what color this Parasaur is supposed to be. Like I said, I saw really cool color ones. Um, but they were super low level. Now I found one that's high level. And it's, you know, I don't even know what color it's supposed to be. Come on, Inky, tame up. So we can end off this episode. There we are, our last point of health. We'll be going in there. I have been finding those uh, little boxes everywhere. You know, the like artifact boxes or whatever. Whoa. And there's our Inky as well. So let's put uh, the saddle on the Inky. Oh, I hear the spider. Let's go kill some spiders. If we can make it over there sometime today. There they are. Or there it is, I should say. Gotcha! Dead spiders everywhere. I was trying to find a rock. Ooh, there's a rock right there. Dead spider. So let's take a whack at it. Get us some flint. There we go. 
Got some flint, of course we can now harvest metal with it. And everything. So, oh, and he's already way down. He's gonna need so much weight. One pump in the melee damage. So I think that's gonna be it for today. I can't think of anything else. We've tamed three dinos today. We got an Anki. I'm definitely gonna need to be expanding this thing, which that's what I was planning on. And of course we got our owl, which I'm super excited and happy that we got. Our snow owl, which looks so nice and cool. And we called it Hedwig, of course, named it after the owl from Harry Potter. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of today. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We just hit recently over 700, and I'm so happy that we finally reached that goal on our march to 1000 of course once i hit 1000 i will be doing an arc related giveaway so if you are a fan of arc you can look forward to that entering in that giveaway once we hit 1000 subscribers so don't forget to do that subscribe and thank you all so much for watching leave a thumbs up for us any comments you have down below and we'll catch you in the next episode